Hey everyone, my name is Christy. Welcome to my corner. Thanks so much for joining me today for this floss tube extra where I unbox the Stitchy Box Stash Delights box. In my mind, I keep calling it the D Stash box. So if I say that at the like throughout the video, which I probably will because that's what it's called in my head, just know that it's called the Stash Delights box. All right. But before we get to the unboxing, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining me and for becoming a part of my community. And for those of you who've been hanging out with me the past few days, weeks, months, it's been so great to get to know you um, in the comments here on YouTube and also on Instagram. Like I said before, that the reason I have this channel is because I'm trying to build a stitchy community because during isolation, I lost a lot of my community and there are not so many people who do stitching around here. We don't have like an LNS or anything like that. So yeah, so you guys are kind of my stitching community and I really appreciate your comments and your likes and your tagging me on Instagram and all sorts of things. Like I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for being a part of my community. If you are not following me on Instagram and are interested in seeing like what I do during the week, whether that's stitching or baking or pictures of my dog or history or teaching, you can find me at Dr. Underscore Christy and I'll put that here. Well, I probably already put it here because I kind of leave that up for, for a while. Yeah, so please head over there and follow me on Instagram if you are interested. This is a channel about embroidery and other textile crafts. And lately I've been feeling kind of cross-stitchy. I figured out how I can do cross-stitch because those of you who have been watching me know I have problems with counting. I do baking and history and the history of all of those things. So if any of that is interesting to you and you are not subscribed, I would love to have you subscribe. So, Stitchy Box Stash Delights Box. This is my first ever stitchy subscription box. I've had non stitchy subscription boxes before and I've had stitchy monthly clubs before, but this is my first ever stitchy box. So this is my first box. So I don't know what to expect. And I was almost spoiled yesterday, <laughs> but I stopped it really quickly. I don't know what's in this. I haven't even opened it yet. So we're going to open it together here. Let's see. Ooh. So that's what it looks like. That's nice. It says Stash Delights, January 2021 by Stitchy Box. Welcome to our January 2021 Stash Delights shipment. I have always had a bit of a hard time saying goodbye to winter each year, so this month's, month's shipment is an ode to the last days of winter. Not just the icy blues, whites, purples, but also some of the browns and greens that start to peek through. In addition to this month's collection of threads, embellishments, and tools, you'll also find a fabulous tasty treat from Pure Sugar, which is this. I do love me a fabulous tasty treat. Ooh, peppermint bark candy cubes. And a handmade peppermint lip balm to keep chapped winter lips at bay. This month's chart is a great way to test out a variety of threads. That is the beginning of this, and I'll read the rest of it later. Well, I'll read the rest of it now, and I'll cut it out. Because <laughs> I can edit. So the rest of this was about brand their in-house silk line called Flower Silk Duo. So... We'll see what that looks like when we get to it, but it apparently is variegated in a very interesting way. So we had the peppermint bark cubes. So that's delicious. And then let's see what we have here. Sorry for the rustling. Ooh, they come in little pretty packages. Ooh, look at this bag. Okay, let's take this out first. I love this bag. How beautiful is this bag? Just the bag is beautiful and it's got something, something hard inside. What do we got? Oh, we have the peppermint twist lip balm. And a thing of beeswax. Now I probably won't use this for stitching because I have thread conditioners, but, um, there are lots of things you can use beeswax for, like pure beeswax, lots of things. So I'm gonna put both of these in here, close that up, but look at this bag. I, I mean, I can find all sorts of things to use this bag for. That's gorgeous. I'm kind of in love with the bag. <laughs> I'm kind of in love with the bag. And then we have a bag with some goodies. Ooh, so many goodies. Okay. First of all, let's look at this flower silk. So this is all like silks and notions and stuff. 
So this is completely beautiful. Look at that. That is amazing. It's called Winter Mix. It is, where's that paper? So the description is, here, I'll put it up so you can see it. The description is that each skein contains five lengths of variegated 60 plus inch thread featuring a six color progression. So, and then it gives you like how you can use it to create different effects. And so that's really cool. Yeah, so that's really cool. I'm really, I do love a beautiful silk. Look at that, that's beautiful. This would be really nice if I were to ever redo my Jane Austen piece. This is, this has a similar vibe, only it's more sort of blues and tans instead of like purples and creams. Yeah, that's really nice. And then we have some Gentle Arts limited editions. We have corduroys, and these are Stitchy Box exclusives. Corduroys. And these are sam the sampler threads. And Winter Storm. Oh, that's also beautiful. That's really nice. Those are nice. Then we have oh, lots of silk happening in this box. Then we have a Dinky Dyes Frosty Lavender. which is excellent, very nice. Um, I kind of like the tag, the little tag. We have a Gloriana Silk Bare Branch. Now I've never used Gloriana Silk, so this will be kind of nice to try this out. Um, and it's showing up, it's showing up more mustard for you than it is for me. It's definitely, it's more tan than kind of gold, I think. And then finally we have Threadworks cotton there's no name of it but it's number zero one zero three eight three <laughs> so that's really lovely that's six flosses so we have six different flosses the twisted ones are silks and the um, tied ones are cottons which is very nice right along with the other stuff and then there's one more thing in here Oh, there's two more things. There's a chart and there is a, there's a thing, another tiny little package. Let's see what it is. I ripped open the bottom, so I hope it's nothing that will fall out. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, fancy. So we have a, let me organize myself here. We have a little snowflake charm. We have a Swarovski Princess Cut Emerald Shimmer. I don't know if you can see, that's beautiful. And it looks like it has a hole in one of the corners. So the holes in the corner, holes in the corner. And then there are Moonstones, 10 two millimeter faceted Moonstones. I don't know if you can see them. Very nice. There's that. And then there is a chart. And you know, those of you who have been with me know that um, I struggle with cross stitch because I can't count very well. I know that sounds really stupid. Um, I've just started doing cross stitch because I've been making cross stitch patterns and I can edit the squares to be five by five. And it looks like I can do five by five and I can also make the minimal colors. But this chart, I think I could actually do because it's like blocks of color. So I was planning on doing a giveaway of the chart, but I think I'm going to keep the chart. Sorry guys. And do it at like, you know, maybe not anytime soon, but when I feel like I need some just like fill in and I don't feel like being super, I don't want to think about it. I can just like do it. That feels, this feels like that kind of a chart where I can just follow the pattern and do it. It's kind of like my feelings about black work. So that's it from the Stitchy Box Stash Delights box. It is $40, I believe, and free shipping. Yeah, I don't know that she has any openings right now for this, for this box. I have to decide whether I'm going to keep it or not based on, based on this. And I'm, I think I want to do a little bit of research. I'll have to think about it because I am really pleased, really pleased with what's inside the box. I have to be honest with you. It's better than I, I didn't know what to expect because I've never had a box like this, like I said, but 
$40 every month is a bit steep, even if you really like what's in the box. So I don't know. I'll have to think about it. I keep looking over there at it. I'll have to think about it. But either way, I have two more boxes coming that I've already paid for. So you'll be able to look forward to seeing what's in those as well. And I'm kind of excited that I can keep the chart. That's really, that's really kind of fun. And I don't know when I'll stitch it, but I feel like I feel confident that I can actually stitch it, which is a kind of a nice, and it's something that I can see in my space, right? Um, it goes with the other things that are in my space. So that's it for me for this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed seeing what was in the box and um, let me know what you think about it, I guess. I think I need opinions. I need like other people's opinions about the box. And I, I think that's it. So with all that being said, please take good care of yourselves and have a good one. Bye.